Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a very quick tutorial on showing you guys how to verify your YouTube account. So uh, let's get straight to it. Um, before we start, I just want to say that this does work. This method works with the um, Google verification, and the Yahoo verification, and all the other verifications online. It's the same method, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it with the um, YouTube. But keep in mind, it's the same process for all the other ones. So, when you first make a um, YouTube channel or a Google account or whatever, you're going to get a verify uh, notice or you're going to go to your channel and click on verify because you want to get all the, uh, the all the other upgrades for like if you want to upload um, videos longer than 15 minutes or you want a custom thumbnail um, in YouTube. So, what you want to do is you want to click on verify and you're going to get to this step. First thing you want to do is you want to change it to uh, United States, unless you're in United States. In default, it should say United States, but I'm not. Then what you want to do is you want to click on "Call me" with an autocorrected voice message, and you're gonna get this, and you click confirm. Keep in mind, text does not work. It has to be "Call me" with an automated message. So the reason why people prefer to do it online is because they don't want to share their uh, Google number with uh, a phone number with Google for private reasons, or they don't have a phone, and that's completely fine. So the next method is actually getting the voice message. Um, in the past, I've used K7.net, and I know a lot of people are using it, but it has given me errors lately with the site not working and not getting the correct voicemails and etc. So right now it's not working for me um, for some reason. I'm getting this uh, page unloading. So the site's not working. And I've been looking for many alternatives for this and there's actually a very few amount online because it's, uh, it's hard to find one that's free and does the same thing. So when if k7.net doesn't work what you want to do is you want to go to text now dot com and it should be the first one textnow.com then what you want to do is you want to create an account I've already created one or you can sign in with your Facebook I've already made one with my Facebook so I'm gonna go sign in using my Facebook and it's gonna sign me in and you're gonna get to this window um, keep in mind when you first create your account, uh, it's gonna ask you for the area code for, from US. Now I'm not from US, so I actually looked it up. So usually when I make an account on this, I usually put in something between 201 to 209. Anything between that should work. Um, or if you're in the USA and you want to use your actual uh, area code, that's fine. Go ahead, it should work fine. Then what you want to do is you want to go to account and right here it should say your phone number so mine's 920 uh, and uh, etc this is uh, the phone number that you're given so you want to copy this copy and you want to paste it right here you want to paste it exactly write it exactly the way they've asked it so it's in brackets the first three another three then a slash and the other four so it's just copy and pasting it should be fine then you want you to do is you're gonna go submit and they say they're gonna uh, send you a voicemail um, with six digit codes and usually Google says it should take around 15 minutes max to get there but it actually shouldn't take that long it should come in pretty quick so you're gonna go to conversations on here and I haven't received it yet so you want to keep on refreshing until you get it okay so I have received this message from this number which apparently must be Google and the voice message should, should look something like this like an mp3 file three one zero two five three eight again your code Okay, so my number is 310245, it's six digits, and it should play again. So let me just enter that in. Going back to YouTube, 310245. Um, 
one thing I should tell you is because this is just an alternative way, it's not the proper way of actually doing it, getting it on a phone. So sometimes when you receive the voicemail, it might actually cut out um, the first digit or the last digit of your six digit code. And if that happens in any case, you're going to have to figure it out. So from if, so go from 1 to 9 and try all of these until you get it right. That's if it's just one digit that's missing from the start or the beginning. If it's like 2 or 3, then the message is corrupt. You're going to have to try it again by going to verification and uh, putting your number in and getting a new voicemail. If this keeps on happening, one thing I've found out is actually your um, Gmail name, the email address can actually affect this. So I've tried it with an email once many times and it didn't work for me. I kept on getting messages which only had four digits of, of the code. And I tried it with a different email and it worked and I tried again with the other one and it's to, it still um, didn't um, kept not working. But most likely it should work for you so um, just go back to YouTube uh, thingy and continue and after that it should say verified and and all these um, options that it lets you ver um, enable after you verify it should be enabled and this will work with Google and Yahoo and all the other um, verifying options on online um, so uh, that's it for the video you guys if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment and I'll reply back within 48 hours and uh, like and subscribe and, uh, see you guys next time